All right, if you love to cook, you need the proper ingredients and also the proper tools. Now, I was excited to get this, to be honest. It is one of the best things I've got because I freaking love to cook. And this is one thing that I use a lot, not just for just cooking and simmering and anything, but you can actually steam now. So let me show you a couple of things, all right? This, all right, nonstick back end, if you guys can see that. They give you a stainless steel steamer, all right? You pretty much grabs on through here. Just make sure you do, you don't do the what I do and take out the cardboard, right? So pretty much you set your water tone, all right? And your vegetables right underneath of it. And this actually doesn't sip correctly because if you guys can see, it has a little, uh, little lifts right there. So it's not gonna touch the water, it's gonna steam. So anything you wanna cook, chicken, fish, uh, vegetables, you wanna steam them, you wanna get into the diet, which I should, but I love cooking. So this is a must, it's a plus on it, on top of it. And then you get the actual pot itself, beautiful cover, you can see that. It has a tilting area where you have a lip here. So if you have any steam, extra water in there, you wanna just lift it, hold it down and just you know drain it out, you can do that. It has that extra little lip in there. Now, on top of that, if you wanna start out of the box cooking, look at this, a spatula and a resting area. And the spatula does not touch the pot, all right? It stays right next to it, if you guys can see that. You, don't, you wanna close it with the actual spatula? Go ahead and do it, look at that. Beautiful entry right there. So if you're cooking and you forget where you left the spoon, or you want, don't use a metal spoon, you're gonna scratch your stuff, you know, use a, a wooden spoon, it's the best thing to do. It's a natural thing to do also too. So beautiful design, cutouts. And what we're gonna do today, we're actually gonna simmer some meat before we actually start throwing it into a pot to cook. So let's go ahead and set it up and use it. We're not steaming today, but maybe some other day, if you guys wanna see more, let me know. We got our beef, and if you're in a Mexican household like I am, <laughs> this is how you turn on your stove, right? That's pretty much how the old school, because uh, unfortunately we use it so much, grease has built up. We gotta get a new one, so a little bit of olive oil to start with, all right? Okay, we got that going, one more. Gotta simmer this one down a little bit. All right, this is ready for the pot, so. Throw it in the pot and we'll start the next batch, all right? We're heating up the meat so we could get that nice tender taste whenever you're cooking. And I'm gonna move this around here, in my water, and I'm gonna take some of the broth off too. You can see the spatula, how cold it is. It maintains its, it's because it's wood, it doesn't distribute conducting the electricity or heat. Unless you burn it, that's the only way you can conduct heat. Tenderized meat. I like to have a little brownish and that's about it. So like the distribution of the heat on the pot, very simple to use. I like this, this is my favorite part right here. This is just putting it there. If you wanna add your cover, you can, but at this moment we're not using the cover. That'll be for another meal, but we don't want this, we don't want to add more water to what we're going to put it on, that's why. We want to steam off the water, burn off the water, the moisture. That's what we're actually, you know, heating it up high. Get that little tape. Look, so it could make tenderize the meats. Look at the center of the actual meat. Around it, how I cooked it really well. I just want to see how well tender it is. This is high quality restaurant stuff, you know? You get it nice to cook. So I like to see my salmon sometimes, just a little bit burn and, and swordfish too. I love swordfish. All right, so with the same spatula, put this in here slowly. Don't want to drip it, all the oils and everything goes in there. Mix it up. And this is gonna be for our broth. Very simple to use the pot, everything with it. I hope you guys enjoy the video.